What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana. So to pick up where we left off, we are pretty much annihilating um, the Swedes and the Austrians in this uh, in this campaign. And yeah, the end is very much nigh for them. But first of all, we have a hasty opportunity to intercept this Swedish force here in Estonia, roughly. And as you can see, most of their troops are actually just very depleted. They have a handful of um, good condition units, but they are ripe for the destruction. So we are going to intercept and take them out because we must always challenge the enemy on every front, especially when we have just so much, uh, we have a ridiculous amount of firepower at our disposal. But yes, the end, the end is nigh for all enemies of Louisiana and all will fall under the blue and white banner of this former colonial power now world superpower so we're not going to stay passive on this one have our guns open up on whatever targets they see fit our mercenaries are going to form the right flank and will advance my elites and my regular line infantry will form our left flank and we will snap together like a pair of jaws under the watchful eyes of Theodore Garnier who has been here forever. Yeah, that's their army. A mighty force feared throughout the lands. We must be careful. As the artillery opens up. See, they have, they have to attack us because we've in intercepted them. But no. Because Quicklime alone will def decimate them. So let's get our howitzers to focus on the units that are intact in good condition. Yeah, so they've got a unit of horse guards here. And they might stir us up, and, but we're going to drop them into squares. Fortunately, they're trotting towards my elite section of the line rather than my mercenary section of the line. Not that it'll make much difference. Square formation's pretty hardy. To be honest, I might start trying to quick climb that unit of cav uh, that unit of um, horse guards and focus fire them from my artillery. Because the rest of these scallywags will fall from conventional musketry. Yeah, well, let the rest of this line catch up. They are the first unit to walk into our sight. The 14th foot guards. Stoically marching towards our line. Where's their officer? There he is. Hello. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, the 14th have had enough. Push up. Artillery, just open up on whatever you want now at this point. Trouble is, I've got, I've got a lot of um, light cavalry. So we are not best placed to deal with these horse guards. That's kind of why I need my artillery to do good work. Because that would be who we rely on to... Uh, do the first mopping up. Understandably, they have attempted to charge us with the bayonet, but that's not exactly the best decision to make. So my infantry line is going to advance. This line infantry is going to run to the rear of the superior line. My hussars are going to charge the fourth horse guards because there's 105 of us and 27 of them. My howitzers are going to fire a round shot at the Swiss horse guards. You guys charge into the rear with the superior line. 
But these are horse guards, so they're good cavalry, but we outnumber them so much. Theodore charged down the marines, you charge down the pikemen. The cavalry, the artillery's on the move. Okay, you men might actually help fight the horse guards. Just to try and make them fall a bit quicker than they currently have been. You men form up. So if you guys could kill some of these units quickly, that'd be great, because there's some some actual enemies I'd like you to take out. Ah, they're hitting my cavalry, eh? They are. Eh, I can take such losses, but can you? I might even send these guys back to try and knock out some of these units routing the other direction. Let's make sure we try and kill a handful more. Okay, good. So they've been killed. Actually, no, I might keep you guys here, to be honest. There's an awful lot of things to kill here. So let's start knocking out some of this artillery. Because artillery falls quickly. They fall as a team. When they die, they all it all collapses and falls over. Okay, hit the ninth foot guards. Chasing down some of these the 14th. And chase down the 95th regiment of fusiliers. Yeah, we're going to lose some over there. That's okay. Overall, I think this is the right decision to make. There's all the gunners over there. Ah, they're all going to run away anyway. Ah, so are those guys. Nuts. charge down the remaining men of the 51st. Hey, you might actually get them. There's one guy over there to deal with. Oh, there he is. Last guy alive. Uh, apart from the guys all the way on the other edge of the map. At the other edge of the map, that is. But I don't think that's going to change the price of fish that much. It was a depleted force, as is. Now it's got 100 men remaining. Back you devils go. The Knights of St. John, well, they are going to be sieged. Venice is un understandably probably quite upset. Ooh, go on then. <laughs> didn't even, didn't, <laughs> they didn't even kill my third rate. Oh, I took out three, well, my, my ship took out three of theirs. So we're going to have to draw, bring that guy back for repairs. Ha, <laughs> they attack my fleet. They fail to kill it, and they say, quick, we'll make peace, and it's like, no. Oh, you're going to try and get back to Tripoli? Not fast enough, me old mucker. That's not going to save you. No, sir. Not at all. So, come on. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Letter demands from Liguria. Ooh. They are upset. Let's see if I can take these troops from Turin over to Genoa. Turin's okay with it. Genoa's okay with it. Hooray! Fleet arrives. Come on. Come on, Patrice. Yeah, it's all to resolve that. It's, it's got to the point where it's, I don't mind losing some of my ships. I've got plenty of ships. Plenty of ships and plenty of. Although I don't. Although I don't. Hmm. Can't actually get to them. Well, let's go take out these Ottomans. Oh my god. <laughs> oh well. 
Sit on the trade post till we get reinforcements over there. So, three, three, okay, your fleet. None of our enemies are trading on this zone, on this, on this um, trade region. Well, no, no enemies are actually passing, no trade, enemy traders passing the west coast of Africa, which is pretty nice. Let's get you guys over to East Africa. I'm pretty sure all of these are just the same ships. Oops, let's just quickly get rid of them. Construction reports. Oof, uh, give them better roads. Dover gets a steam powered cloth mill. Upgrade this theatre. You men are going to replenish and hold ground there. More mines. Fishing fleet. Yeah, why the hell not? Build a light galley. Keep upgrading the industrial side of our empire. Astrakhan gets a seminary. Kazan, you can start to build better roads, although the Swedish are nearby. Right. So, let's repair this. You're going to take out those leftovers. We can repair this building. Take Leopold Beaumarchais the re remaining troops from Theodore's army. March to Sinop. Lawrence to Constantine. Well, Adrian, go hit these Ottomans here. Yeah, they've been annihilated. So you men can replenish on your way to Antalya. Child of Castor, you are also going to replenish and get over to Antalya. Mr. Constantine, let's get you over to Izmir. Let's repair the naval hospital. So you're still going to hold where you are. So I'm going to try and link up to the north. We can probably yeah, you can demand the surrender of Komi. So if I repair the government building, upgrade the roads, give you a craft workshop, I can probably take Mathis's force out and march them straight to Archangel. It's going to take them a few turns to get there. Good. To be honest, we might actually hit Moscow. So you're going to march to the south. We're getting ready to... Mr. Joyeux here. His force will hit the Swedish. That will happen. Obviously elsewhere. But to be honest, there's loads of fights everywhere we can do. This is what happens when you've got a global empire that everyone wants to kill you somewhere. So obviously, well, you're replenishing. Alexis Charnock is going to hit Venice. Mr. Jeannot Mirabeau is going to head east across the road. Repair the mine. Okay, let's not go mad and look at everything we can do at once, because that's what I'm probably going to do, and it's going to really confuse me. So you men are replenished. This army is going to push to the south here. Great theatre. So Claude Berdin, his force needs to replenish, but we do have... Ah, oh, Claude Perrin Fassé, and this is Bastien Perrault. I thought, Perrault, Perrin? A lot of cavalry in this army, but they've not really got a good garrison, so let's take Bastien Perrault. Oh my god, Moscow. Wait. 19,000. So, hold on, I, need, I just want to check my... Yeah, Moscow is... Top line figure is producing... <laughs> Almost one and a half times my most valuable province, which is Ankara. Holy Jesus. Let's take the city. Let's take the, the, the most powerful remaining region of the Swedish Empire. And we now have them surrounded. Absolutely surrounded. 
That's not what they were expecting when they started invading Russia. But what if the French colonials come in from the east? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, we have lots of cavalry. Let's blow lots of holes in the walls. Oh my god, I did not look at my force composition. Okay, so for the first time in a long time, my howitzers are going to deploy um, firing round shot. Because they will be needed. It's not a massive problem. All this cavalry could definitely be in our favour. So you all fire at that section of the wall. And you're all going to fire round shot. I mean, you've just not fired at it. You've started landing shells in the centre and it's like, Ugh, I get your howitzers and you can do that, but don't. Because you're not doing that either. Oh my god, are you guys in... They're the mortars fired. Okay, good. Now they're attacking the wall. Right. Are there mortars attacking my infantry? Oh god, these guys aren't all hidden. Spread out. But at least we are now attacking the wall. My god. That had the potential to doom us all. Such an, such an effort. So you have to bear in mind that as much as they got a good chunks of of their force made up of armed citizenry, they still do have some marines wandering around. Like, I mean, they're both over here with the garrison line unit. But let's focus on definitely making that way in first before we start mixing and matching our artillery targets and getting them to shoot at someone else. There we go. Okay, so you can now... I mean, are they still within range? No. No is the answer to that. They're still they're just firing. To be honest, we're probably better off clearing out their uh, defensive forces than we are wasting time trying to neuter their mortars. Because they're just firing now. They're attacking ground, so we don't need to worry about that kind of stuff. Yes. So the horse artillery is going to start lobbing cannonballs into the breach. Get a few residual kills against the troops that decide to sit inside the entrance. Let's just speed up time a little bit, just because right now it's... It's just quick climb your way in. It's, it's all just the armed citizenry down here at the minute. There is a garrison line unit, but yeah, it is all mostly the citizenry. I need to be careful, because these marines... Marines are no joke defending the walls. I mean, fortunately, it does look like they are bugged. And it is very nice of them, once I kill a bunch of them with canister shot, to then just combine them all together. <laughs> and just reduce the radius. Very well. I think now is the time. This could go really badly wrong. So I've changed all my howitzers to engage the mortars to the rear to try and attempt to maybe knock out a gun or damage some crews. Because fundamentally, we aren't going to have the, the strength we need. Or do I just switch to firing 
quick climb and focus on which I think is the right the real right answer is attacking these marine units that are on the wall because sooner or later they will be allocated to defend the breach just try climb the walls in various places Students are doing some good damage to the marines. These guys, when they get into formation, will really thin out these men that are just blocking the breach. And once we start to clear some of those regiments out, then that means we can start to send our cavalry into the mix. See, they're charging. Hopefully they're charging down the gate. Down the... Down the... Uh, breach towards us. Let's keep one quick climbing the breach. You quick climb there. You quick climb the centre because a unit of garrison line that's going to chill out. It looks like they are planning on advancing. Which would be pretty awesome. Starting to climb down the walls after us. But they are coming. Nah, marines are enough. Marines are enough to repel two full units of line infantry attacking the wall. That's a fact. So these men, these units are going to be focused on getting men up the wall and off the other side. And then... Swarm the cavalry into the breach. So my line infantry is going to cease fire. Okay, if you're going to be funny, just... Everyone run in. Starting to actually... Starting to... Actually turn the tide against some of these units. Although some... This cavalry might come over here. Because we might be about to take... The... Alright, oh, okay. Let's charge you guys in then if you don't want to shoot. Switch our... Howitzers to round shot the mortars. Because to be honest, I don't know, well, our cavalry really doesn't want to just run in. I get it, but it doesn't mean that they are going to get fired at longer than they should. Very well. You men also attack the marines. You men also attack the marines. Get in through the gap. Well, I'm a bit concerned as to why we haven't secured the... This gate. Yeah, I was going to say. So let's try and get some units in to attack from the rear. Stop on my howitzers from firing because they may well be firing improperly. You guys try get in. All of you attack these marines. As much as it looks like they want just to stand still, it's like no, if you all attacked, you could win. Get you men through the breach, come on! It means you all want to just attack the marines. 
Yep, quick, uh, quick lime coming in. I mean, you guys get it. That's right, spread out. Go for the Marines. My howitzers cease fire. Just run past that unit of infantry there. I said run past. Let the cuirassier deal with the infantry. Well, you are the cuirassier, but let's try and clear out some of these enemies to the rear after I've thrown pretty much everyone into the breach because it's just. Because everyone's just trying to scrum through. But now there's not very many people there, I should just be able to go give them an order and people will leak through. You men get involved and hit the garrison there. It's a very undignified way of taking a city, I do admit. There we go, look. Give them an order to run past them and they will try. You men hit the 24 pounders the heavy horse artillery so you don't really want them running around doing too much stuff doesn't help we've got a bunch of cavalry stuck on this town hall there we go just spill through don't worry about holding every holding every widget and every building just get in and form a, de a new defensive perimeter. That's four units of heavy horse artillerymen, or four men, troops of heavy horse artillery that need to be killed. Yeah, the Marines are trying to trying to get involved, but bless them, it's not enough. We've lost that gatehouse again because the unit of guerrillas have pushed up it. I don't really care about what the gorillas are doing. Go on, you men, attack the damn provincial cavalry. See, I don't get why they, they've got these weird pathfinding issues, like they're stuck on the... Because sometimes that's the kind of thing that can really lose you games. Because you'll be there going, no, you guys should be just getting through the city, right? You should be just doing what you need to do. But take that one last provincial cavalryman. There we go, the general's been killed. My infantry's formed up in a defensive line. The marines have been killed. You guys chased down the firelock armed citizenry. These marines slowly getting gnawed away by my line. I mean, fine, if all my cavalry wants to stay fighting heavy infantry in the breach, well, why the hell not? They're only light infantry, after all. I'm not quite sure where all these guys were running. But yeah, do you see there's some pathfinding errors at play? Like, this is why it screws up, is they take multiple ways in and they can't work it out. That's why Empire can be a bit frustrating because I, mean, I know it doesn't help when I try to give them orders to do various things. But you have to give them an order like go to here. Oh, there you go. They've all broken anyway. You have to give them an order that says, okay, go here. Let them all combine. Then push them out as a coherent unit, which does make sense. Just a bit frustrating at times. But there we go. That was uh, Moscow secured in a bit of a gritty battle yeah we lost more men there than we needed to be but than we needed to but at the same time uh, we've got buckets of troops we can afford to be a bit more stalin-esque in our treatment of our men so you guys push up to the bridge my militia just push up and get a look at archangels they won't surrender just for a unit of militia but they will let us know that we've actually got we do actually have a uh, 
there's no hidden full stack there going up to no good you got top tier roads see moscow's making all that money and they didn't they hadn't even upgraded all of the industry although i don't want to upgrade it all so what's moscow on Forty thousand. Earning eleven thousand tax. Obviously, they're all upset from various for various factors. We'll get rid of the clamor for reform. That'll help. Preparing all the government buildings. That'll help. Let's take our rake. Send them on to Kiev. You're waiting for a replenishment. Let me take Philip Villaret de Joyeuse. Hit Wilhelm Soderberg. Again, it's another army that's mostly depleted. <laughs> mostly depleted, so it's just a case of mopping up the Swedes. Which is a, a valuable thing to do. When you're in a position where your, your um, immediate short-term goals are mopping up enemy armies, you're in a good place, because obviously it clearly shows they can't mass a significant number of troops in good condition to actually stop you so yeah take it as a good sign and take advantage of it yeah you are colonial light you're not you aren't missile cavalry that will shoot my own men in the back i mean i haven't deployed my howitzers but i guess i'll just unlimber them and deploy them there hello what's this <laughs> There's going to be a bit of a scrap on the left, on the right flank, sorry. So the danger is some of these units actually have are in reasonable shape, but that's a full strength unit of garrison guards. Oh god, my howitzers are firing this way. Good aptitude. But it's not going to be... Yeah, my cavalry on that flank is going to be a bit outnumbered. Eh, it'll do. I got heavy, I got cuirassier in there. They'll gnaw them down. Those dragoons might try and cause some trouble, but not enough to be worried about. So you men mob that regiment of horse. These native Amer these American infantry mercenaries advance. You guys pivot. These three units can all trundle over here. The regiment of horse just took a, a volley. Form line. They might just tickle our howitzers. Well, they have, so let's just run our gunners out of the way. And that's a regiment of horse destroyed. You guys should knock out that regiment of horse in fairly short order. Yeah, they're going to keep feeding in troops. So you see what I mean? My cuirassier might be okay. My light cavalry definitely won't be. Charge the regiment of horse in the rear. There we go, they've been upset. My general's bodyguard charged into all of their um, skirmishes to get my cavalry over there to join them. Get my cavalry to form up. Yeah, my light cavalry are upset. My cuirassier are going to try and get out of there, which I think, because their dragoons have broken, we should be able to do that. So they deployed a set of stakes, so be careful there. I 
you guys, yeah, you were always going to be enough to beat that unit. You outnumbered them by a ridiculous margin. Uh, you guys go deploy square because the general's bodyguard's going to charge into the side of you. Oh, they go, they're going to bayonet charge us. You men, pick up your guns. You guys are about to kill a whole bunch of your own guys. You men kill the Fusiliers. You guys continue to kill that regiment. Curacier had, had had enough. The general's bodyguard bumped into my howitzers, and that was enough to make them escape. Go on, let's get more guys over there. Real messy battle, but again, doesn't really matter. Be careful for the spikes here. It looks like they are trying to lead me into them. Don't run that way. They're both over here. And then run you guys around the spikes. You men, ch oh, don't charge anyone. Try to get all of our infantry back to form a new line. Fundamentally, just because we can. They are going to give chase, but it won't be enough. You men, get onto your guns. Toggle quick climb shot. Attack ground somewhere in the middle. They won't be reloaded by the time our cavalry runs around, but our infantry get into position. The engineers are going to have a go. 127. Bayonet charge them themselves. You men run around to the flank of those engineers. Because the engineers might have charged, but doesn't really matter. How to shot the horse grenadier guards? So the guard engineers have been surrounded and destroyed. Thirteen foot guards, so they've been cut down, so then this infantry can fall back. Yeah, they're upset because they're getting shot in the back by mounted cavalry. Well, as opposed to any other kind of cavalry. They're coming in. Not going to help them, though. There we go. I knew the 127 would steady down, would steady up. Pour fire and engage in the destruction of the Swedish. There you go, the 125th. Open fire into the flank of the into the flank of the 2nd Regiment of Dragoons. You buffoons. I can afford to waste men. You cannot. There you go. The 28th have been shot down. The 31st are likely going to follow. One remaining howitzer to engage the 31st. 
So what this battle represents is the dangers of doing things half-assed. So I've sent a half-assed force to intercept this one, and you can see it kind of resulted in many, many more deaths than needed to be. But I can get away with it in this instance because I've got just so many men um, to throw at the Swedes. And I know that any damage I do is good damage. Immediately. Frustrating you've gone that way. If I can move these infantry up. So you men replenish. So the hope was this army would be in a good position to if they drive south. But they've managed to cover a lot more ground than I thought they would. Yes, you can swing in directly west. Obviously these guys are to the north. You can't get to the bridge. You're on your way to take Archangelsk. You are probably going to swing to the west to prevent this army from coming well army quote unquote so there's one crossing point that's held by Bartold Tulin Gerard is going to go here to try and cut them off to prevent them from swinging to the west Michel de Choiseul is going to hit this Swedish force there it's going to repair the port repair the uh, repair the, the well, replenish the army, get a ship in there to replenish it. Let's repair these buildings. So, we've got the army at Warsaw. You're gonna put okay, we are pro probably gonna fight that, but let's take Mr. Suffering. Your army can probably march to the south as well. So, that probably means this force here at Yogavo, Mr. Constantine, can leave Courland. This force can get into Courland, which means you guys can move south and hit Vilnius. So first of all we're going to fight the battle against Laval, because that was the one we hit first, and then we're going to go fight... Eh, well, to be honest, Vilnius is... The only this is the bigger one, and we've got plenty of time. So we're probably, well we are, going to fight the battle at Vilnius first. So my hope is this guy doesn't go, because that will be annoying. So I might move this infantry to about here. <laughs> okay, good. So Mr. Constantine, take the Lithuanian capital of Vilnius from the Swedish dogs. <laughs> the fools. The fools indeed. We haven't even touched the Balkans or North Africa or the Middle East. So there's still plenty of good stuff going on all over the world. We really are pretty pretty close to this being um, the end of the campaign. I think. So. Let's put our guns up on the high ground. Especially because they're only light horse artillery anyway. They're going to be engaging whatever targets are most suitable. So let's get our fusiliers and some extra units of line infantry to advance on the ground there. Got some militia and our sharpshooters are going to be on the right flank, backed up by two of our cavalry units. Then we've got our, our lancers on the left, general in the centre. Let's get cracking. Let's pick... Let's pick the best how to targets first. They've got some cover. So we're going to see advanced artillery shots coming in. My lancers are going to go into the dragoons. So my first line make a pretty rapid advance. On the right flank we have some pikes. So run my light infantry up. Got plenty of cavalry to deal with the pikes. My field artillery is just going to keep engaging the enemy at a distance. Although, can you... What's your shrapnel range like? Terrible. Although I might actually just get you focusing on other units rather than the artillery. Here's the... My lancers came in and skewered the dragoons.
so my sharpshooters should be will be in range to engage their cavalry. They've backed them up with a unit of heavy cavalry though. Good quick, well reasonable quick climb hit. You guys haven't pushed up far enough. Which is going to probably result in a pretty, well not a good cavalry charge. You men just halt. You guys advance to skirmish the pikes. Because there we go. You guys can pour a volley into the flank of the heavy cavalry. Before they've even got a charge off. My, my left flank can advance normally. Fusiliers are fusiliers. Granted, they're not great in combat, but they got squares. Ooh, okay. Royal Horse Guard, yeah, not so much. Form square. I'm gonna shoot at you with their pistols. Okay, now my horse artillery's got reasonable enough range to hit some of the units in the field. Just. But just is enough. My mercenaries are upset. Their pikes are even more upset. There we go, the heavy cavalry's down. Even advance, let's take our light horse to chase down their pikes. Whoa, okay, hold, well, hold on. So the heavy cavalry on the flank has been pushed back. Some infantry of mine has routed. Let's... Wherever the pikes decide to make landfall, for want of a better word, I mean, they can do some real damage to my sharpshooters, but my sharpshooters are going to stay there. Because collectively, we can do some real damage to the rear or by charging those pikes in the rear. Sure, my sharpshooters will be upset, but their pikemen will not like a, a massive chunk of cavalry like this charging them in the rear. Yeah, they've lost a lot of men very quickly. Oh, there they are. Uh, go on, break, break. You've lost so many men, you should break. There we go. In terms of the men fighting over here... Okay, so my cavalry... Get on with the, with the fight. Where's my sharpshooters? Sharpshooters get into that farmhouse on the flank. So our right flank's a bit of a mess. Get all my artillery shooting round shot and keep engaging the 8th horse guards to the rear. Actually, get my, keep my cavalry back, actually. So the 20th regiment is squaring off against my unnamed regiment, although I suppose I better get some men involved in that. There's some cavalry involved in that, more accurately. Just kill a bunch of militia like so. The light horse are coming in. Yeah. Get a line infantry unit in to engage. Ah, spikes! I mean, those were my mercenaries that charged, my fusiliers that charged into that unit. You guys charge on the back of the 20th, you guys form up. Where's my sharpshooters? 
my other sharpshooters. Yeah, okay, they are in. Good. I did notice those pikemen coming back again. Oh, that's a new... No, sorry. It's a new unit of fusiliers. Good. So let's pull my cavalry back. It's my, some of my only good line infantry. They can advance. Where's my other unit of sharpshooters? Format with two more u two units to face down that reinforcing unit of fusiliers. Switch my well, get all my howitzers firing round shot to engage. All my cavalry, all my horse artillery engage. The eighth horse guards. couple of shots into the rear of the enemy there. Let's use the main... Okay, you men form up. The fusiliers are getting ready. You guys... Better open fire pretty ricky tick. Royal Horse Curassier Guards are still... Mount. They're still staying mounted for now. There we go. Good volley into the fusiliers there. They are still not ready, so they won't be able to respond. But my fusiliers and Western European mercenaries will be able to. So let's retarget my one unit of guns to make sure they're attacking yeah they're attacking these damn routing regiment over there and it's like I'm not interested in them let's get my cavalry massed over onto this flank Lancer guards have Adam take the damage you can get now And get everyone else shooting at other targets. Well, like, so my lancers do the most damage on the charge. So it's like, okay, get the charge in, then pour the rest of my cavalry in to dig them, to force them to kind of stick with me while I engage and defeat the rest of their forces. They're just broken, they're not shattered, so I might leave those guys alone for now. We should be able to win here, because they'll just be absolutely swamped. Granted, they might kill a good number of my lancers and hussars doing it. Might even get my general over here. Yeah, we're too close. Their quick climb isn't hurting us that badly. Okay, now they're shattered. There you go, they aren't long for this world. Neither are most of the enemy forces. There we go, they're all var at various stages of upset. Yeah, the cuirassier are actually safely, safe and sound to the rear. There we go. Phew. Again, another real messy battle there, but you know... The, Sw the Louisiana flag still flies over the great city of Vilnius, so I think we're okay. Especially as they've not really, seemingly don't really have the strength anywhere to uh, do much damage to us. You could probably get, into, get attacked by Theodore Garnier before you do too much more damage.
So let's march to the north, and then, oh, and south. Well, I can take the garrison of Riga out. Yeah, they can, they can handle it. Let's repair these buildings, because we know we're going to make this area safe. Push you guys up towards Lithuania. I think Mr. Mr. Hosh or Mr. Hoker. And push and hit Bertold Tulin. <laughs> you fools. You thought you could withstand against the Louisianans? No. But we're doing we're doing pretty good. Got a few units to mop up in the east, but I'm pretty sure we can do that satisfactorily. Got a, we got Astrakhan to take, but yeah, the main the main nub to finally wear away will be the Ottomans. Undulating uh, terrain. You men take the guns here. Put another unit of guns up over on the left. Good. Okay, let's dot my elites around my line. Although it looks like they've all clustered up one side anyway. Yeah, not that bothered. Chasseur appeared on either flank. Nope. Mount, stay mounted. Sars on the right. Yes, delicious heavy horse howitzers. Engage the Lancer Guards and you guys engage the Royal Swedish Dragoons. So the left flank of our force here quite clearly can push up in relative safety. We haven't got the 24 pounder horse guard artillery, which would be really nice. Heavy. Okay, right. Pick a new power to target because I pretty much let's pick their um, infantry body because the cavalry look like they are. Okay. Yeah, the 23rd horse guards have been shot almost to a man. They started off with started off with 90 men. Oh, go on. Skirmishes. One of them. Just plink. Take him off his horse. Got him. Push up to secure the better ground. Get my hussars up here because they are also hussars. Let's keep my light infantry stationary for now. Ceasefire. My hussars are in much better shape than theirs are. The Royal Swedish Dragoons are charging in. Carbines in hand, and they have broken against the line. The 8th Lancer Guards, 20th Regiment of Cavalry, 20th Regiment of Horse is coming in. The 8th Lancers in diamond formation. They've been obliterated. You men form square. Bring my heavy howitzers in. Keep my chasseur up yet out of the way. The 18th light horse are invo getting involved in something. Very well. You men form square. Let's check out how our hussars are doing. Doing okay. Let's change our artillery targets because we are getting a bit of friendly fire. Pretty much everyone push up to this high ground here. Higher ground, I should say. Howitzers switched to round shot. Engage that regiment of provincial cavalry. Horse guards engage the 19th provincial cavalry. You guys pivot. Nope, stay in square. You guys might put a glorious volley into the flank of the 24th. 
No, doesn't matter. Oh, they're actually firing at the 18th instead. Send my general around to go knock out some of these artillery units. How? Okay. Oh, these all of their light infantry units they've got hidden over here. Light infantry, fusiliers, mercenaries, generals, bodyguard. Yeah. Their uh, line is broken. Let's get my hussars out of the way. Get you guys over here. face down the real threat and then you guys advance to take on that remaining unit of hussars over there keep dropping round shot onto the fusiliers more so than anyone else Mashasa Rapied fire at will it's not a great position for you but artillery shots coming in good hits Okay, you guys need to make sure you're running. Aha! Enemy cavalry coming back. Go get them, horse grenadier guards. Yeah, the head of their column is... well... It's not really the head of their column, but the fusiliers are the greatest formation they have. This artillery... Engage the six foot guards currently in the dug in position because right now these men they're in a bit of a defilade but they're getting hit by our howitzer fire. These men are actually well, they're not in the gully with them but they're pretty darn close. Advance to point blank range. The 18th light horse have been annihilated to so get my. Grenadiers on, on the flank of that dug in unit. 30th foot guards look like they might have taken a close range artillery shot. Yeah, they're digging some of the artillery fire as well. Get the artillerists to hit the light infantry. So again, the objective is to dig them out of their formation. Well, dig them out of their uh, their defensive position. So the new men are going to push the flank there. You guys are going to push up to square off with those guerrilla mercenaries. You men can fire into the flank of the marines to throw them off somewhat. go and surround so we're currently engaging them head on so they're taking less damage than we'd like but they're about to start getting hit in the flank so get these grenadier guards out onto the rear general's bodyguard took a bit of a hammering there with that volley from the 32nd 32nd foot guards, no less. What are you doing? What are these guys doing? Yes, they don't fire by rank, but they do get a bit of cover from the wall. Well, obviously, that's why you end up having to force them to change their mind. Okay, there's not many men on the field, but... One thing I am going to do is do more damage to that marine unit. I'm not anticipating great things, but there's a lot, that's a lot of marines there. Well, it was a lot of marines. Fire will off. 
yeah, simply because this is an army that still exists, it would be nice for them to have one fewer marine unit on the field to reinforce. It means they'll have to recruit it from somewhere else at a later date for sure, but I'd rather they do that than have a marine unit on the field. Come on, there's only four men there. One left. Good. So that should drive them east. Good stuff. Oh, they've all... Oh, they've pushed up to um, Minsk. At the ready. Make ready. Good, so you men replenish and push Sorry, up. Sir. Yes, sir. You men replenish and push up. You men get here as well. Because Minsk is looking vulnerable. I mean, we could hit it from the south with Miss Suffering, but he's going to march towards Kiev. I mean, you can infiltrate Ayasi. Well, no, you won't. Bob's got a fight against Laval. We've got more fights. Well, actually, you might hold here to hold the pass between the river and the mountains. But we've definitely got a bunch of some fights here to do. We've got the fight to take Venice. We've got the fight to take Tripoli. So I'm going to siege it so I don't forget. We've got a lot of stuff to do still. So we're going to take Maximilien Mortier and attack Laval. Actually, I might auto that. <laughs> they've got, there are some more interesting ones to fight. That aren't Laval. Because fundamentally, it was a city with not much in it. Like Kiev, for example, would be a good one to fight. And I wonder if. Can you guys actually leave the city? You can! You can go put Iassi under, under siege or under stress. You men can then hammer it down here to try and get in and try to take Klausenberg. From the east. There we go, Laval. We get a whole load of investment from your Louisiana overlords. Uh, but yeah, let's go over to probably to Venice actually. So get Mr. Charnock. He's going to attack the city of Venice. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you next time for the capture of Venice. And then this front should quiet down a bit before the final push against Rome begins. Then we find, push down and retake Naples and undo a great injustice that was done to us down at the bottom of Italy. But, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for the slaughter of Venice. Cheers everyone.